<laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm sorry. This is going to be not so, I guess, extra with animations and slides and all that good stuff. We're just going to go over the questions and answers for the month of June for Apalia, Apalia in the Discord channel. So <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into this right now. This is from Asherelle. They're saying, hey, everybody, they're back with the latest round of Ask the Team. And they have nine questions. And there's some disclaimers. If you asked your question, it might not have been answered because it might have already been answered. I did. I think I've gone over all of the question and answers that they've had so far. And so I'll have a link up here with the playlist. You can click on a little card or whatever and go through that if you've missed any of the answering question sessions. Remember, you can also go to the Discord, which I have a link for in the description. I also have a link to the website. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Help the channel out by hitting a like on this video. And I will jump into this without any more delays or long windedness. So number one is from Venoria. It's asking about social interaction in the game. Are there any plans to add some character poses, attitudes, facial expressions, etc., to enhance the social experience for players? And with a way to quickly use it to have a dynamic way of expressing ourselves, like hotkeys, like uh, you look at Final Fantasy, 14 a lot of people have like their emotes on the hot bar and they just go switch that at hot bar and use their emotes to quickly show whatever emotes they want to do and Einar hugs best hugs says yes we've got an emote will in the works the intention is to give players the ability to use another means of communication aside from needing to pull up the chat window right now there's a fixed set of emotes you can use but we plan on expanding this so you can customize the wheel in the future and even with the wheel, the center option can be immediately used when bound to a hotkey for fast access. Facial expressions are currently tied to these emotes, but there's lots of room for us to explore more moving forward. Number two is from Lux Furrows, number 4165. Um, oh, I wanna go back real quick on, and just say something about the question earlier, the answer. Uh, I think it'd be kinda cool, I was looking at DJ Knight play Star Citizen and they have the ability to where it can capture your facial expression and translate that to your character. I'd definitely like to see that more of that happen in the future for games. Alright, two from Lux Furrows, 4165. Would it be possible to implement a photo mode? Also, could there be something along the lines of an album encyclopedia to record which bugs fish we've caught? And then Einhard hugs best answers again, we will have a photography mode. It's, it's pretty basic right now, but it definitely gets rid of all the pesky UI so you can take some beautiful landscape photos or some cheeky selfies. And while we do have a guidebook in the game right now that tracks collection progress, it's in its pretty early stages. We're hard at work and fleshing, in, fleshing it out and making sure it'll be a great resource for players to use. And Ash chimes in with, in fact, here are some incredible screenshots our alpha testers took using the mode. Credits to testers, Pop Top, Code Effects 10, Almoria, and Snorri Bear. And so we got some pictures here. You can see, got a little deer running around here in the field. Uh, butterfly, I think. Kind of zoomed in. And then the town. Pretty cool. This is from Shaveria Moonrunner. What motivated you to make Pelia? Was it a lack of similar MMOs? Aiden says, hi, Shaveria. Pelia has definitely been a labor of love for me. I've always been a big fan of community sim games going back to Harvest Moon on the SNES. Bringing that kind of game into an immersive fantasy world at the massively multiplayer scale really spoke to me as a player. Additionally, I've, been, I've personally been really impacted by the amazing online communities I've gotten to be a part of through the various MMOs I've played deeply over the years. Building a game that can foster that kind of community experience around a different kind of core game experience was really the spark leading to the overall company vision. I think that's kind of cool, right? Like, you ever think, like, what if Harvest Moon was a game? <laughs> like a mo uh, MMO. And a lot of people like Harvest Moon. They made, like, multiplayer with... Uh, Stardew Valley, and then I guess Animal Crossing has some multiplayer aspects of New Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's still not like Harvest Moon, though, because the, I guess the grand scheme of things is a little bit different, so it's, it's still kind of on that smaller scale. So this one is going to be from Giselle Onya. Backspace, what is uh, Singular Six's mindset when it comes to backspace and inventory management? I inevitably run around with full bags, regardless of which game I'm playing, to the point where I often do a quest, pick up something up, etc., and get an error that I can't collect it. 
Hi, Giselle. This is definitely a thoughtful question. When it comes to inventory and bag space, we knew there needed to be some limitations in place. We've seen cases where unlimited inventory can actually influence one's play style in a direction we didn't want to go, and made the decision to have it be a fixed amount. While you start off with a row available, you can unlock more bag space with expansions, and we believe that the final amount is at a good spot at the moment. That being said, we also want to provide some conveniences. In Pellier, your storage space is actually shared and accessible across all chests, and you're able to craft directly from storage without needing to take all items out of your bag, all items out into your bag space. Not really like that. That's really a good idea. Other games have that too. I know New Road has it now. No, it's, it's not like now, but they, it's one of the things that they patched in where you can craft directly from your um, your your lockers, your chest, your storage. Was it patched in? Might have always been there. But I, I like that. It was, it's pretty cool. And I wish more games did that too, where you can craft directly from your banks or your chest. Just to make it that much simpler to uh, not have to really keep all that stuff in your bags, keep all that crafting materials and stuff in your bags. You can just have it in like crafting storage or in your storage so i like that and i hope they don't do um like where you can buy extra bag space like that this is like something like maybe you can make bags or find bags i really don't like that idea that a person can purchase more bag space in games like with dragons uh dragon's nest you know the game was fun but eventually you run out of bag space and the way you get more bag space is you have to purchase more bag space and it was something i never did because i just thought that was stupid coming from before I played Dragon since I was playing like World of Warcraft and stuff like that. So I just, I thought buying bag space was like so bad. <laughs> like the way limiting players like that is terrible. There's like different things you can use in your store. Bag space, this shouldn't be one of them. Jack Like says, good afternoon. How many professions such as mining and manufacturing will be available in the game? Aiden says, hi, Jack Life. Our current expectation is that there will be eight skills available at launch, while that number will inevitably expand, <laughs> inevitably expand post-launch. Right now, we're mostly focused on making sure our initial skills are really hitting the mark. Our playtest this far has been really helpful in validating and ir ir iterating on each of them. I don't know why I can't say these I words. What the? Ash, the eight skills are as follows. Foraging, bug catching, mining, fishing, cooking, furniture making, gardening, and hunting. You can check them out on our recently revamped website, palia.com, which skill are you most excited about? Let me know in Palia chat. I didn't even know they revamped the website. I am behind, so let's open that up here. And we can look at it in a second. Next, oh, they had a little picture, they have the website right here. All right, from Juravec, will there be different tiers of housing? say large, medium, and small, and will there be any limitations on how much furniture you can add? Gutterfoot says housing is a massively important feature in Pelia, and you want to bring loads of customization options throughout development. You'll be able to build small rooms to large rooms if you have the right blueprints and materials, of course. With different housing styles, you can completely change the look and feel of your house as well. We do have a limit in place for furniture in your housing plot, but fear not, it's a very high number. And as a testament to that, says Ash, here's a screenshot from Tester Tardis Knight. Look at all those placeable bottles. So each bottle is an individual bottle, I guess, because the way they're set up, they're not really the same. Like you can see these um, brown bottles here, but over here they're stacked differently. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> this is like a bathtub, a bathhouse. You can see a little bath in there. Pretty interesting. I read about hunting and fishing features. Will it be possibly possible to play Palia in a non-violent way, or do you have to hunt to progress in the game? Hi, Lo hi Lada. One of our core values for Palia is allowing the player to play the way they want to play. And yes, the particular desire has been expressed by quite a few in the community and on the development team. Our economy is already set up in a way where you can acquire the items themselves without needing to directly engage in the skill or activity. But to take things a step further, we're also looking into adding in item variants so you can use options not sourced for creatures. So like a vegan friendly game, that's kind of cool. So I hope there's no like this, what's it called, dissension between the between two people that want to do hunting and the people that are like anti-hunting. but. I guess it's kind of cool for people that don't want to partake in that, that they, they've thought that far ahead. 
from Ormus the Zebra. What are the plans for bug catching? Will there be anything like collections or terrariums to display them in? Bourbon says this is a good question. Broadly speaking, we want all of the gathering skills and palia to be useful for more than just earning gold. For bug catching, we really like the expressive potential of displaying your bug collection in something like a terrarium and are actively exploring ideas there alongside other possibilities. And then here's the number nine, which is a bonus question from Giselle Onia. Who among the Sixer team has a beach vacation planned? And so Ash is like, we appreciate the fun question being thrown in. Here's a few select responses we got from Sixers. I plan to spend the next two months working from an island that is surrounded by beaches. I've never actually considered as an adult taking a summer vacation before. I just came back recently from Greece where I got to visit some beaches, one of them Elefanisi Beach has pink sand. Wow, that's that's something. I am spending a week with my family on Hilton Head Island soon. Looking forward to enjoying the beach, but I'm also excited to go putt-putt golfing and eat some amazing barbecue. I'll be going with my family and few friends to Cape May, New Jersey in September. A group of friends and I take an annual trip to Catalina every August where we rent cabanas on a private beach and enjoy drinks, food, and music. These are things I've like never done. I would love to go on a trip somewhere like that, like a huge trip. Does Horizon Forbidden West count? If so, I'm going to explore the beach around San Francisco. What plans do you have for the summer? Let us know in chat. Drops up the round of Axe Team. Thanks for all your reply. The next one, they'll be submitting questions until June 23rd. So if you guys are seeing this before then, go ahead, hop in the Discord, ask your questions, and um, yeah, they'll have them answered sometime in July, probably around the same time, 17th ish second week let's go ahead and take a look at the website real quick see if anything changed so this is the new website same kind of colors uh, we got the trailer here it's a, a reactive red site we got some new screenshots to look at it's pretty cool that's kind of a nice housing layout i'm believing this is a house a housing plot that somebody has developed they got some uh farm stuff happening over here i don't know why they have like scaffolding over there or ladders little picnic table area that's kind of cool this is somebody inside of somebody's house man interior designers are going to go crazy in this game and always evolving adventure explore palia to unveil his mysteries unravel his mysteries and brief befriend villagers the man got a kite a kind of deer pretty cool pretty cool and then talk about the people the different people of Palia. Nice, nice, nice. Um, and then here's the skills. Fishing, foraging, hunting, mining. It looks like everybody can uh, hit off the same note to cooking. You guys should get to some slicing and dicing. They see you at the at the at the counter cooking. What? Furnishing. These are really nice furnishings and some gardens. Gardening. So, check out. Uh, they're going to be connected with content creators. Interesting. Have to have to click on that. Hit the learn more on that real quick. Little media gallery. Nice. All right, guys. I'll have the link to this. Uh, website in the description and I'll have a link to the discord in the description if you guys want to sign up for the discord or learn more about Palia just come on here and check it out you can also check the playlist like I said I have that linked and it's uh, another reminder to hit that like button for me please I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace